Hey guys, I thought I'd throw together a quick tutorial video on what I did to fix an issue that I came across recently with my Google Home Hub. It was not allowing me to connect to my wireless Wi-Fi router internet. And I was getting the error when I was going through the Google Home application and the setup process to get this thing hooked up to the internet. It was kicking me out, failing every time that it tried to hook up to my wireless Wi-Fi router. It just simply wasn't working. And this issue came along when I was trying to change over to a new internet service provider that I got. I was trying to change over to a new wireless router and it just simply wasn't working. So if you're having a similar issue, I hope this video helps you fix the problem. So what we need to do is turn the device around and we have the volume up and volume down buttons. If you hold both of these at the same time, it's gonna factory reset the device. This was the only thing that was able to fix my problem starting from scratch and then hooking up to my wireless router. At that point, it was successful. So to show you what this looks like, when you hold down those two buttons, You're about to completely reset this device. Release to cancel. So that's gonna put us into a factory reset with our Google Home Hub device. Essentially, you're just restarting from scratch. And doing this allowed me to successfully hook up to my new wireless Wi-Fi router. All right, guys, so now I'm over on my phone. We need to launch the Google Home application. If you don't already have this, you can download it in the Google Play Store. So once we have the Google Home app, we're gonna click on that. Now, just one more thing that we need to do before going into the setup process. I just factory reset my Google Home Hub, which means I had already set it up before. So that means it should be listed as one of my devices. We need to remove it because we're starting from scratch. And if we don't remove the device from our list of devices, then it can be an issue when going through the setup process. So find your Google Home Hub. And again, this is only going to apply to those of you who have set it up previously. So find the device and click on it. And then click on this little settings gear in the upper right hand corner. And then once we're in our settings, go down and click on where it says remove device. So now with the Google Home Hub removed from our list of devices, now we can successfully set it up. And we do this by clicking this little plus sign in the upper left-hand corner. And then click on where it says set up device. And then this is going to be a new device, so we click on that option right here. And then we need to choose a home for this device, so select the home that you want it to go to, and then click next at the bottom. Then it's gonna search for your Google Home Hub and once it finds it, it's gonna ask if you'd like to set it up and I do wanna set it up, so I'm gonna click yes at the bottom. And then it was able to connect and then it's gonna show you a code. You just need to make sure that the code that it's showing on your screen is the same code that is on the screen of your Google Home Hub and if those match, then you can click yes at the bottom. And if you want, you can help improve Nest Hub by automatically sharing the device stats and crash reports to Google if you want. You can say yes, I'm in or no thanks. Then it'll ask, where is this device located for me? It's going to be in the living room. So I select that and then click next at the bottom. Then it's going to show you a list of wireless Wi-Fi routers that are in your general vicinity. You need to click on the one that you want to hook up with your Google Home Hub. So that's going to be the top option for me right here. I click on that and then I can click next at the bottom. And then if you want, the Google Home application can automatically remember the Wi-Fi password for this wireless router. So if you want that, you can click next at the bottom and it can allow for faster setup in the future. Otherwise, you can enter it manually. So then it'll just take a little bit of time for it to connect to my wireless Wi-Fi router. And then it says connected. And now we can go through and finish up this setup process. So now you can see that I have successfully hooked my Google Home Hub up to my wireless Wi-Fi router. I was not able to do this before when I was changing over to my new wireless router with my new internet connection. But after factory resetting my device and going back through the setup process, it was able to successfully connect to the internet. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.